Hi guys and girls, I'm Coact, and welcome to what is widely considered to be the best game in the Prince of Persia series. Now, grab your favorite beverage, grab uh, a pack of uh, chips, or um, go make some popcorn real quick, and uh, let's play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. This is uh, the fourth game in the series, and the second one which is 3D. But uh, enough talking, it's also uh, my favorite Prince of Persia game in the series. I'm playing the PC version. So let's see what this is all about. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. No first, I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azar, in a small company of men, we passed through India. With the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Help, my son! I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in the first battle. Okay, so uh, as in most... whoa. As in most modern games, this first level basically acts as a tutorial to teach you all of the moves and uh, the keys required. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. Oh yeah. Wall running. This is one of the features which made uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, so loved. Base. Okay, <laughs> I haven't played this game in uh, quite a few years. Okay. So let's uh, check the place out. Run toward the edge and press jump. I did finish the game back in 2004. But um, the last time I've played it was uh, in 2007, I think. And uh, everything is great about this game. Uh, the graphics, the music, the dialogue. And uh, when, I, when I'm uh, talking about the graphics, I'm not just talking about the technical quality of the graphics, but mostly the artistic quality of the graphics. Oh, yeah. So, let's get into our first battle. There we go. This game is a mix between puzzles and uh, action sequences. Basically combat. Oh. Yeah, take this. Hold special action, right click to block. Okay. Oh, 
go. <laughs> As you might have noticed, uh, this uh, this isn't in widescreen, this Let's Play, uh, because uh, the game doesn't uh, natively support widescreen. And uh, as you can see, the battles are going on all over this place. Whoa! I don't want to fall now. You can use uh, a special key to uh, get an overview of the area you're in. And you also have another key which gives you uh, access to a first-person view. Well, let's look at these guys fighting and we see arrows flying overhead. So, um, yeah. The atmosphere is... Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield. That their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing him, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. So, we are after the Maharaja's treasure. Let's see what else is going on over here. Yeah, this is another thing I like about the game, these uh, dialogues. Basically, the game is told as a story. It's the prince remembering his um, adventures. And uh, this is uh, another thing which makes the game so unique. The way that it is presented to us. Multi-enemy combat. The prince can also do some uh, crazy acrobatic moves. He can jump over en the enemies and attack them from behind. On the upper left uh, corner of the screen you can see my health bar. There we go. Press C to put away sword. Bang! So right off the bat you can see that the prince uh, is very acrobatic with the wall running and jumping and uh, the movements that he does and uh, the controls are actually butter smooth. It's a real pleasure to control the prince. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah. It seemed uh, that uh, there was going uh, that something some, something bad was going to happen to this bridge because uh, <laughs> whoops you could see the textures broken up okay check out how fast he climbs the ladders The water in this game is considered uh, to uh, replenish your health. Okay, we have an entry point. Come on, face the prince. Oh brother. <laughs> Whoops! And these are just regular enemies. Because as the game progresses, oh brother, more enemies will become available. There we go, Prince. Let's go back and drink a bit of water. Yeah, so this is a bit of a metaphor here with uh, the water giving you life. It's since we are. Um, in a, a part of the world which is, uh, well, quite dry. There we go. Yeah, water is life. And drop. 
and here we see that hole which we got a glimpse of before we started to uh, fight those four guys oh yeah now check out this thing oh yes down with him <laughs> oh yeah I love that move and the camera angles are, are quite good as well Oh yeah? <laughs> Great. Let's drink some water. It's always important to uh, remember uh, the water sources. And, um, well. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm talking about. The acrobatics that the prince does are uh, quite exceptional. Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? 